But I'm so glad to see you. Mm. 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 Hi. 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 The boys are the worst uh, means of communication. The boys are the worst means of communication. But I'm so glad to see you guys. Yeah, Come on. Beautiful. Oh, Come on, first. Leave them to you. Yes, yes, sir. And elsewhere also, but anyway. Yeah, Zed, I'm going to have a Facebook uh, picture with you. You might? Uh, no, yeah, there you go. Let me just I asked him, I was going to pick it up. I mean, I'm going to go over to the table. He said, Ben, if they have a little bit of a drink, I'm going to go over to the Could I ask Dr. Asha Chauhan to come and welcome everybody around here? Oh. Well, first of all, let me correct, this is not dinner, this is all what you're going to have. <laughs> So the best thing is to make the best of it, <laughs> and there are still few bites around, so if you're hungry, please help yourself, <laughs> otherwise I am not going to take any, take any blame. <laughs> so, so I think PJ was very naughty on that. Uh, I think as usual, I must thank everybody to be here, and uh, for us being in Kingston for 22 years, uh, it is uh, obviously a home for us. In the, Sometimes I compare that because I'm a member of the parliament in Pakistan as well, due to my few sins I did, but I'm very happy for that. Uh, but we wonder, you know, where is the balance? And but I think it will never be able to easy for us to make a decision which is our home. But Kingston is very, very close to us. Our children uh, started their education and then moved on and. Uh, now they're in the universities, and one of them has lost election already in council, so... <laughs> <laughs> so you can, you can imagine our plight, and Romana has lost twice, so... <laughs> so I think we are very much part of Kingston, as, as you know. has so many faces, it looks like we know them for a long, long time. And it, I think uh, all I can say is now, before other people speak, thank you very much for coming. I hope you enjoy it a bit, and uh, we are here. I have disappeared in between quite a bit, but uh, we've been in touch with everybody. And uh, just a small note that I'm so happy that Patrick has been appointed as mayor. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Patrick and, and, of course, Jeff Austin. And uh, we started our uh, British politics with them, and Patrick has been our uh, uh, godfather in politics, and the dynamic politics he does here, that was actually uh, a lesson for me that I went back to Pakistan and won the election. <laughs> he has so much energy, he's only a couple of years older than me, not much. <laughs> but, <laughs> but the energy he has is always uh, inspiring and I was so happy to see him crowned only 10, 15 days ago. And uh, another actually pleasant surprise was that it was a twin uh, uh, happiness because uh, Jeff was also uh, appointed as deputy mayor, and Jeff and Romana uh, for the election together, so it goes quite a long way. I'm very happy to have Lord Tariq here, who is our good friend, and he has been appointed in the House of Lords very, in the very past, sort of few, few months ago. And uh, there are so many other things which I would like to mention, but I don't want to prolong so much. I'm very happy that whoever is here, we know all of them, there's no point to Name everybody. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, now, as Dr. Ashok Kahane said, the reason why Ramana lost, well, it doesn't mean that Howard Jones, who's leader of the opposition, it's because of him. But uh, could I ask uh, Howard Jones to come along and say a few words, please? 
Well, thank you for the opportunity. Um, unexpected though it is, um, and I apologise first of all for being late. Uh, because I've been um, attending a council meeting, oh, yeah. um, but never mind. Um, it's always wonderful to come and taste the hospitality of Romana and Ashraf and their two delightful sons. Um, it's always a wonderful evening. Um, they are, as Ashraf will tell you, if you haven't had a conversation with him, true Tories. Um, which is quite nice in this day and age because there are lots of people posing as Tories. Um, but I, I was equally thrilled to see Patrick installed, not crowned. Uh, he's very regal, but no, no, royal, sorry. <laughs> Slip of the tongue. Um, he's very royal, but, and, and, and he's a perfect person to be Mayor of Kingston. Um, and, and Jeff, I'm sure, will be uh, magnificent as his deputy. Um, we're very fortunate in, um, in, in this end of the um, council area because we have uh, also one of the, if not the best young MP um, in Parliament at the moment. And I refer to Mr. Zach Goldsmith. We're really proud to have elected him. We're really proud to know him as councillors. We're really proud to have him constantly badgering us to do things, because, you know, Zach is a doer. Zach will never sit on his um, backside and, 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 and waste away. Zach is a doer. Zach is making things happen. Um, he is one of the most professional young men, and I can say that because I've come to an age where I can say it, He's one of the most professional young men that I've met of his type. We are extremely grateful to have him as our MP. We're grateful to the Chowns for organising this evening. And I'm sure we're all going to be very grateful to hear a few words of wisdom um, from our MP, to whom this evening is dedicated, um, and, you know, properly dedicated. Um, I could go on and eulogise a bit, and you'd probably say, oh, go home. Uh, I'm not going to... Keep saying nice things, Lady Annabelle. <laughs> well, you know what I think of your son, and, uh, and, I, and, I, and I, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to hearing from him uh, when, you, uh, when you ask him to do so. So, I would just like to ask everybody here this evening um, if they would put their hands together to say thank you very much to Romana and Ashraf for hosting the team. No, no political speech from me tonight. But no evening is complete without the presence of a mayor. And we have the case of Mayor here, Patrice Cord. Patrick Cord. Patrick Cord. Is uh, he around here? Yes, Patrick. Can you come along and grace us with your presence? That's very courteous. Thank regal, you very much. Regal. 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 Royal, royal, regal. Royal, regal. <laughs> well, uh, that, that's, thank you very much indeed. Um, not a lot to say after that. I endorse everything that's been said. It's always a pleasure to be in Ashraf and Romana's home. It's lovely. They've been, they have done tremendous work for the party over the years. Great supporters of ours. Um, when I was chairman of this ward a long time ago, they were supporting us then, they are supporting us today. That is what we need. We need to get the grassroots back and motivated. We haven't been doing that, we need to get them back. And it is people like Ashraf and Romana that bring in the grassroots. And I can only say to them on behalf of the Conservatives in this ward, for all you have done over the many years, thank you very much indeed. And I hope that we will continue, and I'm sure it will. And of course, it's a pleasure. I endorse everything that, that um, Howard has said about Zach. Of course, we're thrilled to have him, and um, I think you'd rather listen to him than to me. But for all the kind words that have been said about me tonight, thank you very much. Totally undeserved, but they come from a wonderful source. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, there's a long list of very famous people, and as uh, what our friend said, doers here in the gathering. Uh, can I name a few? We have uh, Sarah. Well, her name is Tibet, but had she been from India or Pakistan, we would have called her Tibet. 
but she's Tibet. Uh, she's the chairperson of King, uh, Kingston North. Then we have Father Martin, Can uh, who's the chairman of uh, Canterbury Ward. Uh, Mondi Todd, who's the chairperson of Coombe Whale. Fiona Ward, chairperson of Coombe Ward. Tony Arbour, member of London Assembly. Lord Tariq, as Dr. Ashok Johanna said, uh, if I can have Lord Tariq here, and, and, and Tony, of course, uh, just before him. Uh, Tony, are you around somewhere? Where is he? Tony, yes. Well, I'm afraid I can't be anything other than political. So I thought I'd tell you a couple of nickname jokes. <laughs> what does nickname stand for? when David Cameron comes into the room. <laughs> Why did Nick Clegg cross the road? Because he said he wouldn't. <laughs> well, I'm sorry if I've, I'm sorry if I've lowered the tone, the tone of the meeting, but those of us, those of us who uh, live in the Richmond Park, those of us who live in the Richmond Park constituency, know that these are our lifelong enemies, and it is really very, very difficult indeed for this particular leper to change his spots. So uh, uh, do, do, do forgive me as far as that goes. I think I. I, I, I think that I want to endorse everything that has been said about uh, Ramana and Ashraf. Each time I've stood for election, they have been very strong supporters. And I'm happy to say that, uh, that as far as uh, uh, my job in London is concerned, uh, Richmond Park has never failed to return a Conservative. And until uh, Zach came along to share the burden, uh, which has um, made the burden uh, infin infinitely lighter, it was really that end uh, which sort of uh, burnt the blue flame. Uh, you will know that uh, this coming year uh, we're going to have a rerun of the classic contest, Boris versus Ken, and I'm very hopeful indeed uh, that uh, we will get the same result next time. <coughs> it, 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 is, it, it is an extraordinary thing that London classically is a Labour city, and it is only because of places like uh, Kingston uh, and Richmond uh, and, and the other borough that uh, I represent, uh, Hounslow, that Conservatives are able to be represented in London and um, demonstrate that those traditional loyalties um, are, are of the left don't actually exist. They know when there is a better man, they know when there is, there, there is a better party. And all of you, and I know that Zach is going to endorse this, at least I hope he's going to endorse this, uh, I, do, I, I do want to tell you that we are going to be honoured with a visit uh, by um, our blonde mayor, uh, who is coming to Trumpeter's house uh, on the 7th of June, uh, where, you, where you will have the opportunity to hear even better jokes about Nick Cake. Um, and, uh, uh, be inspired to, in, to ensure that at least we will do our bit for uh, the party in South West London. I can't see where Ashraf will be. I, I hope you don't think I have pulled the, uh, the, the, the standard down. But, no, 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 but, but, right. but as Conservatives, <laughs> we stand together. Thanks very much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, somebody who's just gone past the blues period. Just joined the House of Lords, Lord Tariq of Wimbledon. Where is he? Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I, I think we've been talking about different bridges this evening, and I, I'm trusted to just note as well that in the plates we are being served with ice cream and gulab jamun, which perhaps reflects the Chohan family here bridging two countries through desserts. You know, whether it's Pakistani politics or indeed British politics, I think it demonstrates how two cultures can be brought together. Indeed, I suppose I'm a product of exactly that kind of combination. Um, Tony, you talked about, uh, where's he gone, about I'm Nick lying. Clegg jokes. I can assure you, <laughs> since I've entered the House of Lords about six months ago, he's not the most popular man. I mean, first of all, if it, AV wasn't enough, then he wants to reform us. I mean, come on. <laughs> I've been there six months. Someone, although, did come up to me the other day and said, Tariq, you've been made a life peer. How long are you there for? <laughs> 
Well, there we are anyway, let's part that thought. I'm not going to keep you for much longer. It's my absolute pleasure to sort of hop over from Wimbledon. Um, I have the honour of being uh, Lord Ahmed of Wimbledon, although my boss at work does now call me Lord Womble, so... Um, <laughs> but here's one for AFC Wimbledon, again, two coming together. They're here in Kingston, back into the league. A big round of applause for them. <laughs> Equally, this man who we're celebrating a year in Parliament for is someone I've got to know over the last sort of couple of years. He's someone um, I regard as a friend. We've shared a coffee or two um, over the two houses. Uh, when I, we first sort of met at the House of Commons, I, I hadn't quite reached the elevation of the House of Lords, but um, it is something which is a terrific place. Our Parliament constitutes a great coming together of culture, history, but most importantly, people and experiences. And I think the House of Commons and Parliament in general is a much richer place by having the name of Zach Goldsmith on Richmond Park. Although, after working with you here, Zach, there is one thing I have to actually say. It is because of you, I now have someone called Baroness Kramer. Who <laughs> 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 sits right next to me, but as Zach said to me earlier this evening, the coalition is alive and well. <laughs> and uh, we look forward to putting forward many strong policies in Britain we have, and there's challenges ahead, and we have got, at times, to be serious in politics. And I think it was right at that time, a year ago, that we came together. We have our differences, but the great thing about Britain is it's about being grown up, coming together, and working for the betterment of the country. And as I said earlier, I think we're richer for the fact that we've got the likes of Zach Goldsmith sitting in the House of Commons, being a strong voice for Kingston at the helm of British politics. Thank you very much. Hey. that behind every great man there's his wife and behind that wife there's that lady and when that wife gets to know about that lady there's all hell loose <laughs> but I say I say I say that behind every great man there's his mother oh, yeah. Yeah. is the source of inspiration because she spends more time than perhaps what a father spends with the children. Because she brings them up, she caters for them, guides them, and then she eventually finds whether they're good or bad. But today, we have a mother with us who's very fortunate to have two sons. One in the form of a former son-in-law and the other was an MP, Zach Goldsmith, Lady Annabel Goldsmith. And her presence here, uh, why I acknowledge particularly is because of the amount of good work she's done, not in England, but all over the world. She has had her hands in every possible charity where she's been helping them and, you know, bringing up goodness out. So I think a round of applause for Lady Goldsmith. Yes, yes. As I say, the icing on the cake, well, icing on the cake is the new MP here, Zach Goldsmith. He'd like to come along and uh, enlighten us with your views. That's one of the, it's, uh, one of the biggest build-ups. <laughs> one of the biggest build-ups to a few words that I've ever, ever <laughs> had enormous pressure now to deliver an extraordinary speech. But I do want to say, I know my mother's nothing my mother likes more than spontaneous requests to give a speech, but we'll let her off just this once. <laughs> I can't do anything without thanking uh, Romana. Oh, you, are, you are, without a doubt, the greatest supporters we have locally. And if, if you know, I'm standing here a year after a successful election, and, and a lot of that goes, you know, is, is thanks to your support all the way through. We've had a number of these events. They have been pounding the streets. They've been gathering support, and not just the two of them, but also Bilal and Jamal. Bilal, Jamal, Abir Jamal, who is going to launch a political invasion of his own. And again, so again, uh, and this next election will be more successful, have a seat which he will win. And it's possible we might even see a Chohan invasion of Kings and all four of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> 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 
actually joins me in Parliament, I hope. We're maybe not, not contesting this seat, but, uh, but it'd be great to see that. But there are some wonderful people here today. It's an incredible gathering. I, I, I love the, uh, I'm mean, thrilled with the, the, the elevation of Lord Tarrant. And I, and we, as, as, yeah. bit, there we, are. we had lots of discussions about this before the event. And we didn't know whether it was going to happen, and it's a great thing we did. One of the beautiful ironies, I suppose, is that people who reach the pinnacle of their career and they are elevated to the Lords, and they think to themselves, for a few hours at least, I've done it. I'm at the top of British society. This is it. This is the icing on the cake. And within a few days, because of the shenanigans that happened in the House of Lords, they found themselves sleeping in the corridors <laughs> in bunk beds until six in the morning. And other, obviously, he's very young, but most of them aren't. There's a rattling of Zimmer frames. <laughs> The next morning, a lot of very cross-looking old people. <laughs> and it was, if, if, if ever there's been a moment where people have been knocked down a few pegs, I think that's probably it. Um, look, it's, a, it's a huge, huge honor to be here. And I'm really grateful for the hospitality and your, and your ongoing support. It's been a year, a really frantic year. It's been a whirlwind of activity since the election at every single level. Nationally, as you know, we've already had some very bad Nick Deck, Nick Deck jokes this evening. I won't, I won't compete with Tony. They really weren't useless. But, but, uh, nevertheless, we are in a coalition. I, I happen to think, I mean, there, there are so many compromises that come with coalition, some of them incredibly uncomfortable. Big issues where there are huge differences between the two parties. This afternoon, one of the reasons I was very nearly late here today was there was a vote on the bailout, the Eurozone bailout. And a number of uh, members of both Labour and the Conservative Party uh, are, are committed to minimising the liability that we have in this country. And there was a vote. And it was because of the coalition. It was because of the pressure applied by the Liberal Democrats that we were not able to get carry a motion which would have, which would have limited our, our liabilities in the event of future uh, uncertainty surrounding uh, Euro member states. Um, nevertheless, I am probably in a minority in believing that the coalition is, broadly speaking, a good thing. And I think it's a good thing because I don't think we could deal with the problems we have in this country now as one of the parties, in, as, as, a, as, a, as a lone party in Parliament. I think we would face such a barrage of opposition. I don't think we'd get anything through. And it would be an incredibly uncomfortable ride for each and every Conservative MP. So the fact that we are doing this together with two parties, no matter how uncomfortable, I think actually allows us to deal with the bigger issues we face. No matter how many compromises, and we haven't had, there have been lots of very awkward compromises. And as a result, I've become a very awkward backbencher. Um, uh, I, I'm told by Conservative Home that I am the most rebellious of the second most rebellious of all the new MPs. Um, and it's not my, my default position is to support the coalition, to support the government. I believe in the direction we're going in. But I think it's the job of a backbencher. If you're not appointed a minister, if you don't become a junior minister, if you don't join the payroll, your job is to represent your constituents. And that requires you to be willing to vote in a way which is not necessarily in the interest of your party, <coughs> but is in the interest of your constituency and is consistent with your conscience, with your views. And that's something I hope I will always be able to do as an MP. It does require me to launch bombs in Parliament and irritating amendments. I managed to get a motion through last week. I believe it's the second time since the election the government has had to take on board a piece of legislation that it didn't want to take on. As a result of weeks and weeks of campaigning, it was relating to reform of the common fisheries policy and trying to prevent the discard of fish. Well, I won't go into the details now, it's a bit, but it is, a, it is a huge issue and it was a, a turning point, I think, on, on many levels. And not least because it reminded government that Parliament exists. You know, it's, there, it's there to scrutinise the executive, it's there to hold the government to account. And it's something that so rarely happens in British politics. And it's one of the reasons why I think politics has fallen into disrepute. I wasn't meant to be giving a depressing uh, <laughs> uh, 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 narrative of what's wrong with British democracy. And having spoken to so many people today who are connected with Pakistani politics, I think ours is looking pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so I, I think I, I will stop there and simply <laughs> say, I just need one final point. We were talking about the blonde mayor earlier, um, uh, and, and, and uh, enough, enough um, uh, um, uh, uh, flattery for Patrick Cobb. We also have Boris Johnson coming in on the 7th of June. Is it? 7th of June. So I, I sort of plug that as well and repeat. What, what Tony said, but it is, it, is a, it is a wonderful thing that Kingston has its own uh, very own Boris Johnson looking after us. It couldn't have been a better choice of mayor. And it, it was, I think the whole of Kingston smiled when you got that appointment. It's a wonderful thing. I Thank wish you luck with it. When I mentioned uh, Patrick, I 
called him Patrice because somebody said that it's a blonde bear. I thought it was a lady. Patrice. <laughs> 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 but it's Patrick. But um, any evening and every evening, wherever it's organized, there's somebody behind it. And it's a very difficult job organizing the evening, I can tell you. Organizing this, organizing that. And today's evening, I tell you, wasn't easy. But there was one person behind it. And I'd like to ask her, Romana Trahan, to come along and say a few Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an immense pleasure to have everyone around here today. Uh, thank you for coming and joining us. What can I say about Zach? Uh, all I can say, I'm really proud to have him as an MP. Uh, and you can look at him and decide why do I say that. <laughs> He is our MP, yes, he's good looking, but with brains, with brains, and I really appreciate him. <laughs> but, but, the, why I really, really respect him is that he stood for what he um, believes in and what he contested, he's standing for that. And that is why I respect him. And Zach, keep it on. Keep your green policies on. Keep it on. Even if it means you have to not be with your own party, keep it on. We are with you, and you're going to be here next year again. Hey. Hey. A bit of bad news. No dinner, but you can slap some things. Thank you.